you have to go for the niche that has the highest CPM. What niches are we talking about? The top five niches to get rich online in this video. We're going to look at them and talk about make money online, digital marketing, personal finance, education, tech cars and gadgets because they have the highest CPM. We're going to dive into all that information, but understand like what I talk about here on the channel, the reason that I created the profitable online business proven strategy of traffic offer people is because there's more than just creating content to building your business. Traffic is the first step down here. And of course you have to pick a topic. So if you want to pick a topic and you're thinking, I just want to make money from the traffic or from the consistent content that is going to be required to create, then go back here and look at this and say, what are the top five niches? If you're looking to start a YouTube channel, if you're just saying, I'm going to make money by creating content here on YouTube and you want to maximize your earnings through high CPM rates, that's the rate, that's the money that advertisers pay YouTube to advertise. And then YouTube gives you that money as a part of the YouTube partner program, or they give you a cut of that money as part of the YouTube pro partner program. So make money online if you talk about making money online, you have the highest CPM at $13.52. These are all averages. They're going to be higher. They're going to be lower, depending on exactly what you're talking about inside of make money online and how much that advertiser is going to spend and different times of the year and all these kind of things. But just look at this. Make money online, digital marketing, personal finance, education, tech cars and gadgets. These are high level niches. And it's ordered based on the average CPM that you can make. ChatGPT and I, or and me, <laughs> me and my chat buddy did some research. And we looked at these websites. And this is Upbeat.io. This is the 12 most profitable YouTube niches ranked by the highest CPM. I'm going to link all these articles in the description. You should go check these out. Because if you're just looking and you can't decide, and that's what this video is about. I can't decide what I want to talk about. I can't decide what topic to pick. I can't decide what niche to be in, what niche to be in. So go to this article, this first one, upbeat.io, CPM versus RPM, how to compare different YouTube niches. A CPM is a measurement that shows how much advertisers will pay for 1,000 ad impressions on your videos. It's a consistent measure of how much money your videos make purely from ad revenue. And that's what we're focused on in this video. But again, go back to the roadmap and the strategy that I give you. I lay it out and understand that you have to generate traffic. You have to generate traffic. And we're talking about building a profitable online business, long-term looking at this, but you can pick a topic today and you can start making consistent content and you could get into the YouTube partner program, or you could do this on other platforms, but I'm focused specifically on YouTube because it's easier to see, it's easier to understand. And it works really so much faster than every other platform out there because you can and I know it seems like I sit here and say this, but I've done this twice. I've created YouTube channels and joined the YouTube partner program. It's just a matter of creating the content and putting in the time and being consistent. But to build a profitable online business, you need an offer and you need to add people to an email list. Now, this structure works because you are able to generate traffic from that consistent content. And it starts with picking that topic. But if you are just struggling... If you just can't focus and you just can't make up a decision or you just can't make up your mind and make a decision and pick a topic, well, then go back to this list and look at this list. This is why I'm sharing this with you. Pick one of these and say, I'm just going to make money. I'm going to make content because it's going to make me money. It has the potential to make me money just from making content. I don't need to worry about offer. I don't need to worry about adding people to an email list. I'm going to tell you, you will get there because this is a hamster wheel that you can't get off of. But understand that making money online, digital marketing, personal finance, education, tech cars and gadgets, pay these CPMs. Go ahead and pause this and look. But there is a caveat to that. And we're going to talk about that at the end of the video. But go back and understand that the CPM is not how much you make. The RPM is actually how much you make. And the RPM is how much that you're going to make or how much revenue, the percentage that you're going to get from the CPM. So it's cost per milli, reven revenue per milli. 
and then go through these profitable YouTube niches and then understand what they are by doing some research. So entertainment and pop culture. The example they give is Vanity Fair. Well, Vanity Fair is a huge brand. It's a magazine that's been around for a while. I mean, I guess all my life I've heard of Vanity Fair, but look what their target is. Movie stars to take part in lie detector tests. This is most likely a topic that you're not going to be able to make content in, but if you go to YouTube and you search it, you'll see all the views. And then one thing you'll see here is shorts and understand that the CPM, the RPM, those averages we're talking about, we're not talking about shorts. We're not talking about getting paid from views on shorts. We're talking about getting paid from long form content or regular YouTube videos. But again, this is Vanity Fair. That's the example that he give here. And then you go down and you need to understand that, look, you can make six to $12 talking about these things. And you can see here that they reference Mr. Beast as well, the largest YouTuber in the world, and it's all entertainment. But he makes things now, or the videos that he makes, the things that he makes videos about are pure entertainment, and it's on a huge scale that the majority of, of us will never get to. But here you can see beauty and fashion. Here's another example where someone's taking them behind the sea, scenes in a fashion show, but you could create how-to videos about beauty and fashion. Technology reviews, Marquez Brownlee, he's just reviewing products like the Samsung Galaxy S, business to business, Gary V talking about social media marketing strategies, and his target is people that are trying to start or have a small business and medium businesses because he's generating buzz around the fact that he owns a marketing company. So you can move into that business and financing or bit financing and investing. So 12 to $25 just for coming online and talking about finance, finance and investing. And there's a difference between just being a person and talking about finance and investing and then being a business that is talking about finance and investing. So if you're a business or you're in the business of helping people invest or with their finances, there's going to be a lot more rules and things that you have to worry about. But as a person, you could just come on and share your personal budgeting habits or your personal savings plans. And that's what a lot of the finance gurus on YouTube are doing. But that's why they're doing it. 12 to $25 are those CPMs. But go back to this roadmap. And the reason I'm making the video is so you understand that while you are starting down here with traffic and you're looking at these numbers and you're thinking, where is the money to be made on YouTube? The money to be made on YouTube is first picking a topic and then getting consistent over here on creating content and then making sure that you have an offer and then building an email list. And we're going to tap into this here in a second because we're going to go to a, another article. But before we do that, I wanted to focus in on one of these other niches that I thought was interesting. And this is ASMR, Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. These are just videos where people can relax and they listen to music. It's 7 to $15 is what it says. <laughs> but one of the things here was an hour-long comp compilation video. Now, if you get into this niche, you're really just only going to have, I guess possibly you could say, okay, I'm in this niche. I have a topic. I'm making these types of videos. And then you could lead them to an offer. But most people are just opening these up and just letting them play as they listen to them because they're trying to relax. They're not searching for information about relieving stress and getting to sleep. They're just looking for these videos to solve the problem. But there was an hour-long compilation on how strangely satisfying cracking plas plastine, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I had to look it up, but this is like just modeling clay, and I guess they make videos of the sound when people are squeezing this. So, you know, there's a lot to unpack here when you're going through all of these niches and looking at the CPM and the type of video that you want to make. And of course, if you just want to make videos and be a YouTuber, then do these things. But if you want to build a profitable online business, understand that you have to move through each one of these pillars. And really, that's my focus here on this channel. And that's what I always talk about, starting with traffic by picking a topic. But go back to these topics and just look at them and say, I'm going to pick a topic inside of the world of making money online or digital marketing or personal finance or education or tech cars and gadgets and then drill down into how you can actually create helpful how-to content in any one of these. And you're doing it based upon purely, like I said at the beginning of the video, 
I can't make a decision, so I'm just going to pick one with the highest CPM and I'm going to go for it. I'm going to create content and I'm going to go, I'm going to come back and then I'm going to build an offer or I'm going to find an offer as an affiliate. And then I'm going to add people to an email list and I'm going to learn the skills required to build a profitable online business. And then later on, if I need to, or I want to, and I find out I don't like talking about personal finance, I don't like being in the world of education based upon the topic that I picked, then I can always just change topics and I didn't lose anything because the time that I spent understanding and learning about these niches and the fact that CPM based marketing, what it is, how to make money from ads, how to create content and how this all works is not wasted. So then you move to the next one or the next article is from TubeRanker. And again, it's talking about the monthly revenue and selecting a niche. But it also says here why you shouldn't put money first when selecting your niche. And this is what I say. This is what I think. I think you should definitely look at picking a topic. And it's what I always say. And when I, when I talk to people, they want to know how fast they can make money. They want to know how much money they're going to make. And that's what this video is about, really. It's about looking at saying, look, you know, and you can go find that data on the fact that these types of videos, this topic in these niches are just going to make more money. Whether you're looking at the CPM that you can make from the ad revenue, or you're looking at the actual offers themselves, or you're just looking at them from the outside looking in and saying they make way more money than this other niche. That may or may not be true. So come back to TubeRanker and take a look at this, but then go back to the profitable niches here and just look at some of the videos. Look at the people that are making videos. Look at what they're doing. And then say to yourself, there are several video ideas in this niche. We're talking about the make money online business niche. And you can see these are some ideas. These are some topics. These are the types of videos that you'll have to make. Reviews of apps, how to sell online courses, how to st start a successful online store, how to grow a blog from zero to thousands of monthly subscribers. Also, here's another one. Interviews with successful entrepreneurs and online business owners. This completely changes the dynamic of your topic and you could go out and you could try to interview people. It's more of a podcast type mentality, but you're doing the same thing because you're doing it on YouTube and you're focused on the CPM. So check that article out over to Brinker. Like I said, I'm linking all these in the description because this video is just about getting your mind moving and saying to yourself, look, if I can't make a decision, if I can't pick a topic because I'm not sure what I want to talk about, then I'm just going to go for the money. I'm just going to see what's making the most money and I'm going to go for it. But understand, and we're going to talk about this later, that you need a certain level of views to start actually making money. There is one other site I want to show you, but I want to caution you that this site, Viral, Virality, Fit, Feet, FT, Virality, whatever, this is a great blog post that really breaks down and just this infographic here that breaks down the RPMs and the CPMs. And some of these numbers are higher and there's a reason for that is because Vi Virality Fit Blog, this website, I don't endorse this site. I'm linking to this site, but this site is about buying views and subscribers on social media. But check out their article because they have a lot of great information and it really gets down to the point here once it shows the finance and investing niche, it breaks down and it shows some of the top videos from that channel. And I've reacted to some of his videos, so you probably can see those in the list of videos where I talk about what's missing or just what's wrong with the types of stuff that sometimes people say in these videos. But also understand that four side hustles to make $900 a day, 15 websites that pay you $150 daily, and six monthly dividend EFTs to earn from in 2023... These are videos he's making. These are the topics that you need to discuss. How to do these things. Because these are how-to videos. Even though it's a listicle of four side hustles to make $900 a day and a listicle of 15 websites that pay you $150 a day, it's really a how-to video about how to make money online or how to make money from a side hustle. So go through these business or go through these niches, business, health, and fitness, and really look at yeah, the money they're making or the money that is available in that niche. But understand that every single one of these people that are creating content and all the advice that they're giving here about these different niches, it all comes down 
bottom line is it comes down, it comes back to a simple strategy, just like I show you inside of affiliating to build a profitable online business. It all starts down here with generating traffic. First, picking a topic, whether you're picking it based on the money that you can make showing ads and being part of a YouTube partner program or any other ad sharing revenue out there or building a blog and getting ads on your website. All of that stuff is great. It's important. It's part of the big picture and making money online, but it doesn't start until you pick a topic and you get consistent with creating content. Every single one of these niches, every single one of these people that have found success, every single one of these videos that you watch, every single person on here is doing the exact same thing that I'm telling you to do. They are making content. They are consistently creating content after they picked the topic in one of these high paying niches, whether they did it because they were interested in the CPM and the revenue that they could generate from the content or whether they were doing it because they're interested in it. It doesn't matter at the end of the day, they are doing the work. They are creating the consistent content. One quick note here is multiple streams of income are making creators like Ali Abdal 4.6 million in revenue, multiple streams of income which goes back to what I always talk about. Yes, you can make money from traffic by simply picking a topic and creating consistent content. And that was really the focus of just getting you to pick a topic, but understand that multiple streams of income are going to come from offer and then building an email list and then having the ability to follow up with people and let them know more about what's going on other than just the content or other than just having them show up on YouTube and making money potentially from the views because the real money is in building out an actual profitable business, starting with generating traffic from that consistent content that you're gonna create. So real quick, let's go back to ChatGPT. We looked at the top five niches to get riches to get rich, the top five niches to get rich online because the niches are in the riches. I mean, the, the riches are in creating helpful content, but if you're going to do it because you can't decide any other way, then pick one of these based on the CPM, but understand this. To actually get to money, you have to do a calculation. And to calculate the number of views, and I'll use this as an example to make 100,000 a year in the niche, just from creating content, each one of these, make money online, digital marketing, personal finance, this is a summary of the views that would be required to make $100,000 a year. So in the make money online niche, you would need 7.3 million views to get to 100K a year. Digital marketing niche, you would need 8 million. Personal finance, you would need 8.8. .8. Education, 10. And tech cars and gadgets, 11, headed towards 12 million views. I think you can see at that point that you're going to have to be able to generate more views, the lower the CPM. And if that's what you're focused on, creating content just because of the ad revenue, and you don't want to focus in on using a proven strategy, of just thinking about creating helpful content by picking a topic, creating consistent content that is helpful in a how-to niche, and then understanding that yes, eventually you will get paid and the CPM is going to come into, uh, or going to come into play. It's going to be a factor and it's nice to get paid for creating content, to lead people to an offer, and then add those people to an email list and effectively build all three pillars of a profitable online business. So if you can't pick a topic or you are just like, I don't know what to pick, then pick one that has a high CPM and go for it by starting to create consistent content today. There's no shame in just saying I'm doing it for the money because guess what? Making money is part of what we're trying to do. And you might find that you like it, but you also might find that you don't like it. But the skills that you learned just from taking that first step and picking a topic and starting to create content and talking about the things that can possibly or potentially make you money is the best way to get started right now, today. And with that, let me know in the comments which niche or topic that you would pick out of this list of five if you were going to start today, and then get started today. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.